The sign Pilate chose was simply Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. The wording troubled the Jewish leaders. They wanted it identified as simply a claim Jesus had made. But Pilate had been pushed into a corner by them once that day. He was not giving way this time. Pilate, a man with blood on his hands, was used by God to declare the truth of who Jesus was and is. He probably intended it simply as a warning to other would-be revolutionaries and wouldn't change the wording simply to reassert his power. But God used his stubbornness. Those passing by were given a glimpse of the truth of what was happening. Perhaps even the thief, the one who asked Jesus to remember him, had glimpsed the sign through bloodshot eyes, prompting his plea to Jesus to remember him when he received his kingdom. The wording of the cross was also in three languages, Hebrew or Aramaic, the more commonly spoken Jewish language, Latin and Greek. They were the three languages of the ancient world. Everyone who passed the crosses that day would understand one of them. The languages represented the cultures too. Hebrew, the language of faith and theology. Latin, the language of power and government. Greek, the language of art and culture. One message, many languages. God was determined to make sure his message reached everyone.